Hi, I'm Sarah Davis from Nottingham Trent University and this is an e-textiles tutorial for Kitronic University. Um, I'm going to be telling you about the Kitronic conductive thread which can be used for hand stitching as well as machine stitching for some of your e-textiles projects. Um, what you need to know is that the thread is much thicker than your regular thread. Okay, so it's more of a kind of embroidery thread thickness. For that reason, you need to use it on your bobbin, which means it will sew on the underside of your fabric, not on the top. Okay then, so for winding on a bobbin, you'll find that the reel of thread might be too long for your machine, so you have to think of different ways to wind it on. My machine comes with an additional thread holder, which allows me to have the Kitronic thread upright and you just wind that on like a regular. So if you wind that on like a regular bobbin. You can see here that I've, I've gone sort of through lots of different stitches and different tensions to work out the best tension for my machine. So I've found that the tension three is the one that gives me the best results. So because we're using the thread on the bobbin, we have to alter the tension which might be in the bobbin case below or on my machine, there's a dial above. So because we're going to be stitching the conductive thread underneath, I have to make the mistake of drawing my circuit on the, on the wrong side. So because I'm stitching on this side of the fabric, I need to make sure that I've drawn my circuit on the side that I will see. So I can do regular stitching. And just like um, other types of sewing machines, I can also do a zigzag stitch or, other, or any other stitches that your machine might have. And you can see that I've got my regular thread on the top of the fabric and my conductive thread on the reverse. For other helpful tutorials, visit Kitronic University at kitronic.co.uk.